What's up everyone and welcome back to Mike's Room. Guys, for this video, it's going to be a short video updating you guys about the Phil T1Xs. So guys, I got hit up by Phil just the other day saying that their new update for the Phil T1Xs are now on their app which hasn't been on the Android marketplace for a little bit. I don't know why, but I kept getting in contact with Phil to let them know that, hey, it wasn't on there, you know, didn't know what was going on. Then they finally hit me up and were like, hey, our app is now live. Go check it out. So, guys, I did, and the Phil T1Xs are now supported. Woo! All right, guys, so I went ahead and I checked out a couple of options on the Phil T1Xs for the, with the app that they have that is supported now on Android. And I did hear that you can already have it on iPhones, but I was really hoping for Android because I'm an Android guy and I have an Android phone. So when it got you know sent out and everything, which was just about a day ago, I went ahead and checked out all of the features that it had for the Phil T1Xs. I'm here to give you guys a little bit of a live review and show you guys what you guys can actually do now with the Phil T1Xs on the Phil Plus app. Okay guys, so first of all, the way that I downloaded the app was I didn't go through the Android uh, marketplace. I actually went to Phil's website and then from Phil's website, I went to their Phil support little thing that they have on their menu and it had the app right there for me to download. So I downloaded it from there, it took me straight to the app, downloaded everything, went through perfectly. And this is the app right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you. You guys can kind of see where it says Phil. Maybe you can't, but it's this thing right here. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Now I do have the Phil T1X is already paired up to my phone. Here they are. So when you guys open up the app, it's gonna ask you guys to pair the Phil T1Xs. So once you pair them, it'll you know show on the app, and this is what you're greeted with first. Okay, so you get to actually see now with uh, the earbuds individually and how much battery is in each of them so this shows you the left side and this shows you the right side and that's the battery so that's going to be this little option that's down here right here where that little lightning is at okay when you click the middle button it almost looks like a little stopwatch i'll show you guys that middle button that's there click that and that is actually going to take you now to the profiling of sound the sound profiles that they have now so guys, you can make it bass heavy, you can have it original, I'll go ahead and tap on that, and then you can have it treble heavy, okay, if I can tap on that, there we go. I'm sorry guys, I'm using a mirror so it's kind of weird going back and forth. So now you can do, you know, whichever one you want there, and I keep it on bass heavy because I love bass guys, you guys know this already, but not only can you do bass, original, or treble, but right here at the top where it says more EQ, you click that and it has all of those settings for you to choose from. Now guys, I went through every setting and every single one is different. There's some that are bass heavy, some that are treble heavy, some that are mid heavy, some that are equal, some that take out the bass completely, take out the treble completely. They have a lot of options and they all sound pretty good. But of course, I kept my option at, and I went bass heavy, guys, and let me tell you, the bass comes in a lot more now. I mean, they really did a great job on the EQ settings of this, of setting up the bass. You still get the clarity of the mids, you still get the clarity of the highs, but that bass is just raised up, and it just sounds beautiful to me, okay? But I did check out the the treble part, and I mean, when it comes to the treble, when you push the, you know, the treble part on it, guys, it sounds great the treble comes in the bass is cut out a little bit and then when you have it on original it's just basically it's all even just as if you were to have them without any uh any of this you know going on here's the other option so that's the middle option when you click on this option here it gives you a whole list of different things there so the top part and i'll read it is easy mode and what easy mode says it says easy mode will limit touch operations to double click play pause answer and call and medium press to activate the voice assistant so by pressing easy mode guys that basically just means that everything will become double click instead of just the one and having to do that which is what they kind of have on now the other option that they have which is pretty cool i think you guys are going to like this those of you that are gamers out there is going to be that second option sorry and it says low latency 
mode okay so when that is clicked it says low latency mode will reduce the playback delay of video slash games but may increase the compatibility risk and it says please do not enable ll mode low latency mode when playing because headsets need to restart to take effect so basically what they're saying is don't enable low latency mode while playing a game because if you do then the headsets need to restart which means they need to turn off and turn back on and it might mess you up out of your game if you do that. So if, if you're going to do that, do it before you're playing a game. And then you have two other options. High sensitivity touch for the left side and high sensitivity touch for the right side. So when clicking that, it says high touch sensitivity will respond more quickly to touch options, but may increase misuse. So it's going to go ahead and give you that option, those options, guys to you know basically make your guys's t1x's the way you wanted to so i really do think that phil did a great job with that guys it makes me want to keep these and never want to give them up and just i love phil now a lot more because they did this now here's another cool thing that they did guys right here at the top where you see these little uh, three bars right here okay you click that and that will actually take you to the music you have downloaded on your phone. So if you have music downloaded on your phone, you can actually play it from the Phil app. Pretty cool, all right? So one thing I can say about the app, guys, is do not force close the app when you guys exit out if you guys are going to use this to amp up your sound. Okay, now this is what I mean. So if I have it configured here, guys, and I already have it to where I want it bass heavy, if I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna go home and I'm just gonna listen to my music that's on there. I'm not gonna close out of the app or anything because once you close out, you go there to force stop, then it shuts off. It doesn't amp up your sound, it doesn't do anything, it's just shut off. So you have to have that app basically running in the background in order for any of your other apps to amp up the sound for you know the fill t1x's which is pretty much standard for anything so just remember don't exit out all the way just you know enable them on the app and then you can click out of the app and just you know use you know if you use like for me I, for instance i use the play music the google play music to listen to my music you know or pandora you know stuff like that so guys i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys that real quick video just to go through the app and everything i want to thank phil for telling me about it and letting me know that that came out so guys go out there have more fun with your phil t1x's now that they're supported on the app make it yours because that's what phil wants you to do so phil awesome job still i love these still these are still the greatest if you guys want to see what i said in my first review go ahead and take a look right there at the top other than that guys thank you guys for joining me i hope you guys have a great holiday and if you guys are out there smoking smoke one for me See you guys next time. Peace.